today I am gonna take my sweet time doing it um, I'm gonna record as much as I can so you guys can see how to do a fuel return and a dual pump setup since I've looked online and there's really not much um, you know in-depth detail on doing the fuel return so I figured I'd start doing it okay, guys so before we get started I already went ahead and got the cars out I went and ran some errands I'm gonna eat some real quick and I'm gonna get started on the on the fuel return got the Mustang on jack stands let's unbox these and then um, we can start building the the fuel lines let's open this box I already had opened it to make sure everything was in there harness So here's the case. Let's open it up. And then here's the rest of it. So here's what it looks like. They already came hooked in there. All right, let's get to building the fuel system. Let's learn together. Like I mentioned in my previous video, I already had installed one of the wall bros. So I gotta go ahead and pull it out. But let's start with this one and then we'll go from there. You are my kind, classic mind, and you look so fine. Mm -hmm. Loving the calls. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the, the other pieces for the second pump. Hey, sweet radium stickers. All right, so it's already packaged. Everything you're gonna need. Connectors, wire, more bolts. All right, so we need this one. Fitting. All right, so we removed this little piece. All right, guys, so we remove this one from here, and I'm gonna put this one in there. You guys want to make sure it's real nice and tight, not too tight, but tight. Right. You can feel it as soon as uh, it hits the end, you can feel it, but not too tight. Next step is going to be installing the hose under the fitting we just installed. And don't forget the clamp. Get your clamp ready to go. Make sure you face it um, the way it's easier for you to uh, tie it down. So this is what's gonna look like. There's one, and then here's the second one. And then we're gonna fit both pumps here. So I guess I should go pull the other pump out. All right guys, so battery's already unplugged and we're gonna, I already had this undone. 
we're gonna unplug this and then under this house okay you pull the locking pin pull that off so the fuel line should be clear make sure you get a rag or something you can put around here so if it spills you know you don't spill so much around the car and also i um i went ahead and completely have my fuel tank almost on e so it's shouldn't be too bad here i got handy dandy gloves rubber gloves and a rag Right, we got lucky. There's nothing on the line. Well, just a little bit, but. <clears throat> mm. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of move this out of the way. So here comes the fun part, tapping this out, as you guys can see from the previous marks from when I removed it. All right, well, let's see if this camera can uh, stay up there without falling. Mallet, screwdriver. <laughs> All right, didn't really need much. I'm using one hand, I'm using the other hand to hold. All right, so let's pull this out. All right, guys, one tip for this. You do not want to do this with more than a quarter tank. If you open this with more than a quarter tank, you will spill, guarantee, as soon as you remove that locking ring there. All right, as you guys can see, I spilled some just pulling it out. Now, there's a hose right here, got to undo it. I'm gonna give my little small flat head, which it got lost. I don't know where it went. Oh, never mind. All right, let's do it. Never mind then. All right, so just be careful. <clears throat> if you want to, you try draining it back in there, but just pull it out. All right, so here's a, the the other pump, which I did was I added a T for the Venturi outlet and teed it off like this which is horrible, horrible, horrible. I don't recommend doing this. It worked, but I don't recommend it. All right, guys, so both pops. Feeling the sun, party done, shadows walking home. Walking with a game on. You are my kind, classic mind, and you look so fine. So we got uh, the pumps installed. Got them clamped down and everything. Now we gotta hook up all the wires. 
remove the fill <coughs> gauge and install it here and we should be good to go so we put the filters in we put this one in first that the pumps came with because the kit provides you some to uh so you can make your own so you can plug into the to the kit that's the best way to remove this is if you you grab something like this zip tie and then stick it this is gonna sit you're gonna stick it into here and then just pull and it comes right out Get in the door, silent walk, who's the first to speak? Speaking like a real freak, voice in my head, in my bed, feel I put the new ends on it, now nah, it's time to put these on. It's labeled B, will be positive. So let's put this. All right, so this is pump one. Let's hook it up. Make sure we're good. Now we gotta hook these into here inside the top head. All right, I'm gonna have to make this video into a two or three part. It's uh, getting a bit long, but we did accomplish a lot today. Um, stay tuned for the next video so we can finish this pump. I'm gonna continue on putting it together but the video is just getting too long to make it into one whole video so I'm just gonna split it into a couple of videos so uh, stay tuned thanks for watching make sure you, sure you like subscribe and share if you like today's video and I will see you next time stay humble my friends